Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to Upstate New York on the Upstate Speed Test channel. We're here at the Target Plaza in Vestal, New York. Earlier today, I got to see a tower crew from Verizon uh, climbing the tower there, and on the top rack, the Verizon site was finally getting C-band. I got to see them installing the panels, uh, and I even uh, got the drone up to take a look. Uh, so make sure to watch till the end of the video so you can uh, check out that really cool footage. Uh, just keep in mind if you're ever droning near a cell tower and you see a crew up there, keep a respectable distance so you don't disturb them. Anyway, uh, over here is a former AT&T Long Lines Tower with T-Mobile on the bottom. And then over here is an AT&T site that's relatively new. And Verizon... Uh, Verizon and T-Mobile are both up on that tower uh, that I was just talking about, but I don't believe AT&T is up there. So uh, just to give you a lay of the land as well, this is where we are at the Town Square Mall. Or I'm sorry, this is where we are at the Vestal uh, Parkway Plaza here. And uh, up here, we are along the Vestal Parkway. And there's the rest of Vestal. Downtown Binghamton is off to our east over there. Now, uh, before we get started, I want to take a minute to tell you guys about a really cool website that I just learned about called Circled In. So let's take a minute and talk about that. Let's jump into the website real quick and I'll show you what it's all about. So I wanted to show you guys around circledin.com. It's a really cool website that lets you share family plans with major wireless providers and streaming services without having to have your own giant family plan. So if you scroll down the page here on circledin.com, you can see that you can pick phone plans from Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, Cricket, and others, and streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, HBO Max. So just to show you guys an example, if you click on AT&T, it'll take a second, and there you go. You can pick from an AT&T Unlimited Starter, Unlimited Extra, Unlimited Elite, and when you click Join the Circle, basically all you have to do is put in some basic information like your name, if you want to bring in a number from another provider or get a new number, and then you make your payment right on the website. Circled In only takes a small subscription fee to orchestrate this for you, but you get a huge benefit out of it like being able to uh, contact support and uh, have things resolve for you without having to reach out to the plan owner yourself. You can also add smartwatches and tablets, which is going to be integrated into the website uh, soon, I'm told. But for right now, you can just contact support to have them add those things for you. So far, I've had amazing customer service with Circled In. They've answered me quickly and resolved all my problems right away. Uh, and I've had a very easy sign-up process. In less than 24 hours, I had my AT&T Unlimited Elite Plan up and running. And uh, I also... Uh, can en enable the 4K streaming that comes with the plan just by contacting their support. Uh, and it was a very simple, easy to fill out form. So that's circledin.com. If you're looking for a great deal on a wireless plan or a streaming plan, definitely check out their website. You'll save a ton of money and you'll also save a ton of headache without having to deal with a large family plan yourself or having to create one. Circledin.com, check them out. All right, so let's get to speed testing. I am finally on AT&T with an unlimited elite plan. And uh, yeah, so let's see how AT&T performs. AT&T probably has the second highest market share in our market. Uh, I would uh, hypothesize that Verizon is number one. Uh, T-Mobile is number, uh, actually, you know what? T-Mobile is probably number two and at and is probably number three. A few years ago, that situation probably would have been reversed. So at and rocking the low band 5G here. There's no 5G plus, uh, whether it be DOD or C band. Uh, so 42.2 on the, or 42.4 on the down, 14.3 on the up, 71 millisecond ping. And the loaded jitters look mm, I mean, just all right. Uh, or loaded ping times look just all right. The jitter is nine milliseconds, so not terrible. All right, let me switch over to Verizon and we'll give them a go. All right, we are switched over to Verizon. One thing I should mention about my AT&T Elite line is it's not yet, uh, I don't yet have the 
4K streaming activated, I have to put in a support ticket with Circled In. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you get a plan through Circled In and there's some little feature or something that's not working, definitely contact their support by putting in a ticket. Uh, the experience I've had so far with support has been phenomenal. They respond really crazy quickly and uh, they've been really polite and helpful. Can't say enough good things about their support so far. 9.59 on the down for Verizon. 76 millisecond ping. Loaded ping times are terrible. <laughs> the jitter's not great either. Uh, oh, one other thing I should note, Verizon does have a small cell on top of the Petco over there, but it, it doesn't really seem to do much or it's just completely overloaded. Uh, let me switch over to AT&T and we'll be right, or uh, let me switch over to T-Mobile and I'll be right back. All right, we are switched over to T-Mobile. T-Mobile, I'm on a military one plan uh, and I'm really close to hitting the 50 gigs of priority data for the month, but T-Mobile's network is actually really good around here, so running out of priority doesn't really matter. Um, just for comparison, the Verizon line is Get More, and like I mentioned, the AT&T line is the Unlimited Elite plan. Uh, so this is actually a weaker performance for T-Mobile. 184 on the down, and uh, 60, looks like we're going to hit about 50 on the up. 31 millisecond ping. The loaded ping times are eh, just all right. And the jitter's fine at two milliseconds. Uh, let's run it one more time. Maybe maybe the modem was just still in the process of switching it up. All right, much better results that time. 34 millisecond ping. Loaded ping times are much better this time. Or at least it looks like it's headed that way. The jitter is uh, three milliseconds. And we're gonna hit about 50 on the up, or close to it. So yeah, T-Mobile uh, definitely is the speed king in this market, and their coverage compared to a few years ago is way better than it used to be. So uh, yeah, guys, that uh, that's gonna do it here from the Target Plaza. Thanks again to Circled In. So yeah, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe down below.